Thornton here. Thanks for stopping by my channel, At Home Fine Eating. Today I'm going to show you how to make my lemon pie. Now, I know you're going to say I'm killing you, but I'm just telling you. I make the pie kind of like a cheesecake. So you can put this in a regular old pie pan and, and just do it like a normal pie. And I'm going to use whipped cream for the topping. Uh, you can keep the egg whites. Uh, we're just going to use the egg yolk. So you can keep the egg whites and whip them up with a little bit of powdered sugar and a little vanilla <clears throat> and make a meringue on top of it if you prefer that. Uh, I'm going to make it with whipped cream on top, homemade Chantilly cream. So first of all, let me go over the ingredients with you. Now for the crust, it's basically just like you would a regular vanilla cheesecake or whatever. We're going to use a nine inch spring form pan and then we're going to use one package of honey graham crackers. Uh, we're going to use a fourth of a cup of sugar and we're going to use four tablespoons of melted butter. Now for the pie filling, uh, we're going to use the juice of three lemons. I got three lemons, one lime, two cans of sweetened condensed milk, and five egg yolks. And then we'll save a little bit of the lemon uh, peeling to make some zest with to go on top of the whipped cream after we're done. Now for the whipped cream, we're just going to use two cups of heavy whipping cream, a quarter cup of sugar, and a little vanilla flavoring, maybe two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. Uh, but we'll do that later. First, right now, let's go ahead and let's make the crust. So we're just going to put, just going to put the graham crackers. for 10 minutes. The crust has baked for 10 minutes, so let's get it out of here. Now we're going to set it on the cooling rack and let it cool just so we can handle it. 
We could go ahead and put the pie crust in there if we didn't need to set it in the water bath, but we gotta wrap it in the aluminum foil first, so we're gonna let it cool down a little bit so we can do that. Now, now I'm gonna fill this skillet about a half inch full of warm water and go ahead and put it in the oven and let it start heating up. So it'll be good and hot when we get ready to put our pie in. All right, we're good to go until this cools off and we'll be ready to put the filling together. All right, our crust should be cooling off pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and put this pie filling together. So first of all, we're gonna, thank you C by the way, I appreciate this. Uh, we're gonna squeeze all these lemons into here. And we're gonna save one or two of these peelings so we can get some zest off of it now. This one here's got some real thick zest, so I think I'm gonna keep that one. lime pie. This recipe is really basic and simple and it's just the best lemon or key lime pie recipe. So if you want to make a key lime pie, just get you some key limes and use a bunch of them to make your juice. Thanks again, City. I appreciate that. Alright, so we're going to pour this through a strainer to make sure no seeds or any stuff we don't want got in there. Alright. Now we're just going to put the two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Really simple pie to make, and like I said, if you put it in just a regular old pie crust, it'll turn out just fine. But I like to do it this way because the pie cooks really even, and the crust on the bottom of that pan is evenly distributed throughout the pie. So when you're eating the pie, you are constantly getting the same amount of crunchy granola crust in each bite. All right, so we got all of our ingredients in here and we're just gonna whip this up till it's smooth. All right, now that mixes there for a little bit. You want to take 
crust still just a little more. Make this where we can set it down in that water. But we're going to leave a couple of these. Stick it up like this. We're using this handle. We're lifting in and out of the water. But be careful that that foil rips. It can splash hot water all over you. So just be extremely careful and try to wear now make sure you're protected. Don't splash boiling hot water out of the oven on you. That would not be good. Alright, this is getting really smooth. Good. This is really smooth. It looks smooth. Alright, so we're just going to pour this in here. This is a really good pie. I know, I know, it's really good stuff, yeah, but it really is. I wouldn't just say that. All right, so we got the filling in there. So now we're gonna take it over to the oven and ease it down in that water. Bad in the skillet. It's on 350 and we should be good to go. Oh, time flies when you're having fun. That's 20 minutes on the pie. Should be done with the oven. careful because it's got that water in it. Alright, now we're just going to lift that up out of the water. Let it cool. And this is still extremely hot. all cleaned up and ready to go and we'll put it in the refrigerator so when we get ready to make our whipped cream it'll be everything will be nice and cool all right i got the pie sitting outside cooling because it's a little breeze out here and it's just going to cool off quicker out here but it's been out here about 15 minutes and while it's still warm but not extremely hot i want to run this paring knife just around the edge of it Mm. 
Don't worry about getting down into the crust. Just go around the edge of the pie. One time. Let's go ahead while we're doing this and take this outer form off. It'll help it cool down a little quicker. Came off really good. Sure that'll just help it cool down quicker, but it sure does look beautiful. Okay, I just brought the pie in from outside. It's actually been outside cooling off. It's cooler out there than it is in here. So I believe it's cool enough for us to put the whipped cream on without messing anything up. So let's attempt to get this off of here without creating a monster. So you wanna make sure that the bottom part of that uh, spring form pan is is it's cupped on one side and flat on the other so you need to make sure that you use the flat side not the cup side because then it's hard to get it it's just hard to get it off uh, that wasn't too bad at all didn't really make much of a mess around the edge set this out of the way for just a second. And, all right, we got our bowl cooling in here. And we got our heavy whipping cream. So we're going to use two cups. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. sugar and about two teaspoons of vanilla. Alright, so we're going to make our own whipped cream or chantilly cream, whatever you want to call it. Shouldn't take but just a couple of minutes. It's starting to get pretty doggone stiff. We're gonna we're gonna scrape it up one time. Make sure everything's whipped to the same consistency. it again for another 10 seconds or so. And looks pretty fine, looks pretty good to me. Well, now I got all the whipped cream on there. Sit just a little bit. Chantilly cream is good stuff. All right, now we just gotta put a little bit of zest on there and uh, it will be through. We really eat some.
Well, I can't tilt it over. It'll slide off. But there you have Dave's lemon pie. That's just the way I do it. It's really good stuff, I'm here to tell you. Well, I hope you make it. If you do, I know you'll enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm David Thornton, and that's my Dave's Lemon Pie. I can't help myself. This is really good stuff.